Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goodwood Racecourse here on Saturday. It's the 1st of August, 2020. I'm going to look at the third race to 3 o'clock from Goodwood, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And join me tomorrow for my Doville preview. It's the first Saturday in August uh, from Doville with the Group 1 Racing. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, maybe Saratoga, but uh, Doville comes a very uh, close second. But, um, that's tomorrow, but uh, j uh, let's get to this third race, 3 o'clock from Goodwood, and uh, I could have looked at all the races today, but I didn't have a lot of time to uh, handicap them all, but this third race, 3 o'clock, uh, we're going to look at right now, which is a good race for the stayers. It is the Group 3, or excuse me, Group 2, Lily Langtree Stakes. It's Group 2 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $166,500, race for 3-year-olds and upwards, fillers, mayors only. We field of 4 horses, 4 quality horses, going 2,800 meters, or a mile 3 quarters on the turf course. I'm going to take the one horse Manuela, Manuela de Vega as a top selection. We'll go 1-3-2 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 1-3-2 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection one horse Manuela de Vega. Four year old Philly by Lupe de Vega. Harry Bentley gets the mount for Ralph Beckett. Most recently ran the Lancashire Oaks at uh, Haydock a mile and a half on the 5th of July and she won by five and a half lengths and at 50 cents of the dollar nobody was catching her. She stalked. She got the lead quickened up very easily. There was no challengers that day. It doesn't get any easier than that. Coming back to Goodwood, where this horse has won, run decently in the past, not a lot of victories, but run decently in the past, I'm going to give her a shot to finally get the victory. Two back in the Group 3 Pinnacle of Haydock, a mile and a half June the 7th. She won by two. Her seasonal reappearance wasn't 100% fresh, but she got the job done, you know, basically beating, you know, not the toughest group of horses home. And then before then, in the in the Prisse van Bayern at Munich, a mile and a half, November the 3rd, she finished second by a nose, and the winner just ran that better race. This horse was drawn stupid wide, but she was loving the wet ground there. And if the ground shows up very soft, I, I think this horse goes up even more. And then before that, she ran at Chester last September, a mile and a half in the list of stakes, she finished second by length, she just couldn't hold on late. And then before then, the March stakes here at Goodwood over the mile three quarters in late August of 2019, she finished third by two and three quarter lengths. She never weakened out of it, but she never quickened up either, she just kind of plodded along. She ran this race last year and is a 7-2 favorite. Uh, Anna Barr, who's actually running this run today, uh, just held on to a very, very good, easy, easy victory. This horse just really wasn't going. Uh, but before that, you know, she ran decently also. I'm going to give her a shot here at 5-2. Drawn very well. I think she could stay. Her most recent races have been very good. And 5-2, let's take her. If there's going to be an upsetter, it's going to be the three horse, Caballetta. Uh, David Egan's on this one for Roger Varian. Most recently enlisted stakes in Newberry a few weeks ago. This horse really put on show, winning by a half length. That was a good run. I think the longer trip really goes up with this horse. At 6th one, use him in the place pots or her on the place pots. But to recap my selection for the third, the 3 o'clock from Goodwood, it's the group to Lily Langtree Stakes. Let's take the one horse, Manuela de Vega. Also give kudos to the three horse, Caballetta. And we'll go 1 3 2 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 1 3 in the place pot. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.